can just take part of that system, just send it for a frozen. Okay. When I was in medical school in Guatemala, I always wanted to have a postgraduate training in obstetrics and gynecology and be able to be board eligible or certified. When I came here, I was very lucky to be able to have a residency in obstetrics and gynecology in the University of Arkansas. And since then, I have stayed here in Little Rock. When I finished my residency, this was the time when the political situation in Guatemala was unstable. And then at that time, I decided to stay longer here, especially looking to work in the new and developing area of infertility. How much long is this patient? We have it in about two minutes. Always, the most important for me in medicine is really not the technology, but is the physician-patient relation. Good morning, Christy. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How is everything going since the surgery? It's very well. Good. <laughs> what we're going to do today first is we're going to go. I generally like to have my patients involved in the process of trying to decide what is going to be the best procedure that is going to fit their special needs, desires, risk, and benefits. You're not going to find a more caring and loving human being than Francisco Botchers when it comes to his family and his patients. Uh, I have learned over the 25 years that if you make a mistake pertaining to his patients, then um, you're going to see the Hispanic side of Dr. Botchers come out because to him, nothing is more impo important to him than his patients. He is a very caring, loving, compassionate man. I know this for a fact because um, about seven years ago, I was in the hospital, had some minor surgery, and Dr. Botchers came by to visit me one day, and I was pretty sick. And I feel like if it wasn't for Dr. Botchers, I probably wouldn't be here today. I love you. Eunice, are you going to be ready to hear your baby heart? Yes, sir. 